Previously on Downfall. Wait, this pain. This new horrible pain. I feel like my head is gonna explode! Oops. And now, back to Joe. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Downfall. When we last left off, we met rock god Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> who's come back from the dead to show us our true destiny. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Eddie Van... No, it's... Vilde Vat Vilde Vilo, baby. Now get over here and make some sexy love with me. Oh, yes, absolutely, Vilde Vilo. Oh, by the way, um. Yeah, some of you guys have been asking this. Uh, this camera that I. This webcam that I use. Well, pretty good. Uh, it ha tends to go out of focus, and I think it might be because maybe the lights are off. I, I don't know. Uh, although, my, my face is illuminated by the freaking desktop, and I. But it does this thing where it auto focuses, and sometimes we'll just like unfocus my face so it, when I get blurry that's what happens and I, I can't tell I can't tell until I've gone back and edited the video and I can't seem to get rid of it so uh, if it happens I'm sorry <laughs> I try I try to keep my I keep an eye on it but this thing is a mind of its own anywho so Joe got himself buried like a dumbass we just carry out my little quest and now, we're, like, I feel like we got like a total change of tone here. We went from being like, like you're very alive, you're all gonna die. Oh God! Might as well take this blanket with me. Can't go wrong with my little blankie. Is it? Oh, there it is. I was like, where'd it go? Terrifying emptiness of. What for? <laughs> what did I do? That's fair. There's no time for that, Agnes. We'll save, we'll save that for later. I was only thinking out loud, you know. <laughs> oh, the sheet. Okay. <laughs> you know, just like now it's like this total ridiculous thing. Some crazy rock guy came down and said, "I'm happily just as I am, thank you. If I'm gonna go save somebody, I might as well wear my wedding dress. I just well look pretty. I just know it's broken." Okay. Uh. Come on, Agnes, baby. We need to go save that man. Hold on a second. I gotta make sure I've got all my thingies going. I'd rather keep the lights on. Oh, it's a beautiful light for day grave digging. Oh, what am I? Can I not leave? Don't want bird, even though it seems unlocked. There must be some other way, Agnes. Think. I am thinking all right, you fucking bastard. I've already been. Besides, I'm not going to the toilet when I have v Villa Villa in my room with me. How embarrassing. Don't mind me, love. I've had it. Seriously, are you in my head listening to my thoughts? You're damn right, baby. Now go in there and tinkle for daddy. Ew! Ew! That was gross, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get carried away when I'm in this voice. <laughs> Makes me feel like a real rock god. Because that's what other rock gods do, right? It's not long enough. Maybe your size is tied to the window. Oh, tied. There we go, baby. All right. Is this anything I could tie to the other window? Uh oh. The switch. Agnes, we haven't got time for this. Be quiet for a minute, and then let me think. The chair. The trousers. <laughs> I can't use the bedsheet with the trousers, you silly. Whoever the hell's playing this? The door. Oh, the door. How am I going to attach this to the door? The door handle, you... There we go. How... Mm, how am I going to do this? You really got to make... I got to freaking spell it out for you, apparently. Come on, Agnes. Now we should be able to climb down the window. Why do you care? You're a fucking ghost. You could just face through that shit. Stop thinking out loud, Agnes, and go. For a man's life is a stake. Okay. If you insist. Poor horrible weather. I really hate this country. Oh, we're outside. Maybe you can give me more clues. I'm afraid I can't at the moment. You'll have to work this one out yourself. Hopefully somebody's playing this game and has already seen all the previous events leading up to this. Fine, fine, but you owe me a drink when we're done. Come on, baby. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. In the garden. No point sticking my hands in. Where the hell are you going? You. This isn't the right way. Well, you didn't give me any tips, really. Oh, I know. I'm just going to sit out here in the rain. God dang it! Should have known better than trust you, you crazy, you crazy broad. 
Isn't he lovely? I just wish wish it wasn't just a dream. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I wish a rock guy would come to my room. Whoa! Eddie Van Halen! Is he even dead? Actually, I don't... <laughs> I'm not even actually positive. I don't... Probably... Probably not. What are you doing here? I came to play a bitchin' tune! <laughs> oh yeah! Best day ever! <laughs> Agnes, can I ask you a question, baby? Of course, what is it? What's with the wedding dress? Did you just get married? Or were you going to? I think we're going to right now, baby. Oh, that no, it's very simple, really. I run a little business in Yorkshire, and we sell rent wedding dresses. Huh? I often tend to put one of those on for advertisement purposes. <laughs> would you, would you like a card? No thanks, baby. You see, I'm dead, so I can't hold shit. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever need a wedding dress to be honest, baby. I guess you're right. It wouldn't really suit you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This shit just got like total bananas. Mm, I think it's good at the studio. Good thinking, baby. Oh. Wait, no, change my mind. You stupid. Ah, just kidding. I'm not gonna touch that. Not in my sexy wedding ground, which is getting all freaking drenched. Seriously, bring an umbrella? Or I can't believe she wouldn't change it into something else. She's, she's committed to her job. I'll give her that. So. Oh, I gotta just go hop in that locker where a bunch of dead people are. No, baby, don't do that. How did you know there were dead people in there anyway? How come I can't look at this locker? I gotta look at this one locker. This could be a great hiding place. But I'm not getting sound unless I really have to. Uh. Is there no reason then? Can I? Oh, hello. Do I look like the sort of person who collects calendars? Especially of naked ladies. I don't know, baby. Do you roll that way? <laughs> Cause I would to I'd be totally okay if you did. Oh, you're such a pervert. Oh, I love that my man. How do you know that? Just the kind of guy I've been looking for all my life. Oh, well, slow down there, baby. Okay, I want to go through the door and I've talked to Eddie Van Halen. Okay, now I need another person. That's black. Black what? Black window? Black doodly doodly. Let's go this way. Hopefully nothing gets. I don't get shot or something. Can I ask you a question now? As long as it isn't about your little quest. No, don't be silly. I'd, I'd like to know why you're floating in the air like some ghost. Agnes, I'm just a dream messenger. Your mind is creating my very image. It's your subconscious that makes me able to do it, baby. In that case, can I fly too? Uh, no, that's not how this works. Uh. Don't ask. Just leave it. Just, just leave it, will you, baby? Come on. Just think about it later. It'll be. Think of all the amazing sex we'll have later. Oh God, yes, this sounds fantastic. Oh my God. I care if this is a dream. If it was working, I still can't drive. I don't know how to drive. Uh, okay, so we got. I can't go this way. The wax works. Oh, my favorite place in the world. How do you use the door to get in? What? <laughs> really? I guess this place is like a miniature M Madame Tussauds Museum in London. I wonder if they got a David, David Beckham and Posh here, too. Oh, good out, God. I love that David Beckham. Oh, he's such a sexy mofo. Oh, he's almost as sexy as you, Eddie Van Halen. I'm not Eddie Van Halen, you dumb broad. Good lord, when are you going to figure that out? Where the hell are you going? <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't know, I decided it was one of one back and forth and back and forth. Good lord, are you, dr are, you on are you on drugs or something, baby? I'll be there yet. Oh, I can't tell you that. Is that the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz? You know, you really are useless. What did you bloody follow me for then? Well, baby, just to give you something to look at. Oh, and anyway, okay, this place. Happy now. Okay. It's the fire exit. Gets behind this wind little window with an old lady selling tickets. I think I got I got away somehow without having a ticket. How lucky! <laughs> Shows a miner being attacked by a giant monster with tentacles. Is that what it's I was supposed to find. 
Looks so fake. I don't need to touch them to prove they're not real anyway. I might see something. Shovel, baby! It's poking out. Well done, Agnes! You found the shovel, now let's get the fruit out of here, baby. Oh shit, yo. Oh, well, we're fucked. Run, baby! Run, Agni! Holy fuck! Take the back door and find a place to. Holy fuck! Dude, what the hell? No! No, Eddie Van Halen! The psycho is chasing me! Ah! It is chasing me! Go! Ah! Oh, no! I like it better when things couldn't kill me! Ah! No, go in the house! Oh dear, I do appear to be saying you by a psychopath. Hmm. Oh, where would I? I want to hide. Go in the locker, baby. Locker, locker. Uh-oh, where am I? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh. Welcome to my court, dream traveler. Hey, Queen of Maggots. I haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? I appear not to be able to move at all. What? Who are you? And where are you? Feared by all, adored only by the flesh-eating maggots. I am the queen of the dead. No, oh, you're queen of the maggots, you... Though I do not pose a threat to you, my dear child. You are beyond my reach, at least for now. Dash off for you shelter, a hiding place for those who are after you. Lights up! Oh, what is this place? It does appear to be quite bloody. This is the entrance to my humble kingdom. Most people who come here never leave. Except for Susan Ashworth, but that's later. You know, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you follow these endless corridors, you'll find yourself in the abyss of hell. In that case, I definitely won't go that way. <laughs> of course, that's why I'm telling you, my dear. God, you're kind of thick-headed, aren't you? I'd just like to leave then, if I may. Yes, I should not keep you any longer. The matter followed you will not bother you again. In the coffin on the right, you will find a key to the door. There's also a little gift to someone you're about to meet very soon. Oh, who might that be? I wouldn't dare spoil the surprise, dear child. Alright then, I'll be on my way. Thank you for saving me, strange old lady. See you later, bitch. Next time we meet, though, I will insist you call me your majesty. Seriously, I will fuck you up if you don't. As nice as you are, I'm gonna make sure I won't... It won't be any time soon, though. Alright. Have a nice day. Uh, that's nice. You guys see the queen of the maggots again. Uh, she's still as dead as she was in the cat lady. Queen of maggots. I don't know why she didn't call herself queen of the dead. I like to change my name. Oh, what the hell now? It's this queen of the maggots. You liar. She just said queen of the dead a second ago. I like to change my name on a whim. I don't know. Depends on what mood I'm in. She's all dried up. Even the flowers she's holding are dead. I'd rather just leave. The ladies make me feel quite uncomfortable. Thank you, dear. Oh, sorry. I thought you couldn't hear that. I hear everything, my child. Also, you said that shit out loud. Oh, oh right. I always forget to do that. Tee hee hee. Excuse me. So, who the hell was chasing me? Was it, that was the, the axe murderer guy? But, like, no. But that doesn't make sense. The... That we saw his body, right? Didn't uh, we stole his brain? And I don't know. Maybe the old crazy scientist guy managed to reanimate him. I. No, no, because we don't have electricity to the building yet. So I don't know. This shit was crazy though. How could he kill Eddie Van Halen? I mean, sir, actually, how is that humanly possible? I thought he was a ghost. House key. Shotgun shells. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I'm gonna use, use my boomstick. Something else in there I really need. Oh, when I die, I want to be buried with my shotgun shells, too. Don't blow them out! Each candle represents a person's life. Can I just blow out one, please? <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Well, there's this, there's this guy you see. He's a real bastard. Give it a rest, dear. This is my job, not yours. Besides, this sh we're saving this shit for the next game. Oh, okay. Hopefully I should open the sequel. Oh, you won't. You won't. Ha 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 ha. Actually, I really don't know how this is gonna go, so... 
Oh, I better not. She should be staring at me, waiting to tell, waiting to tell me not to touch anything. Can you please not touch anything, dear? But I haven't. Yeah, but I know you were going to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I used to think you were a crabby old bitch in the cat lady, but now you're kind of funny. Does anyone tell I went to the psycho voice with this chick? I wonder why, baby. It's not like she's totally thick-headed or anything. She seems to be staring at me. Wait a minute. Oh. Please don't touch it. Seriously, just stop touching the shit. Scoot on big meat hooks. Is there an eternal punishment for a lifetime of sins? Not really. This is just what happens when you're dead. <laughs> 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 Looks like a room service dwelling. Maybe life after death isn't so bad after all. Oh yeah, I just need that to carry my baggage. I got a lot of baggage, baby. Okay. You don't want to look down there, love. No? Why? What's in there? Should find out one day in the future, but not yet. Judging by the trail of blood, love, Lois, I crawled from that coffin into this hole. Hmm. Man, I, I don't know. I'm a little confused, so... Okay, do I just leave then? Okay. It's locked. Oh. Oh, I've got the house key right here. I didn't even... Okay, see you later, crazy lady. Oh! Hey! Wait a minute. Where's the big ass field from the cat lady? Leading on. Isn't that where your house was? Is it over that way? If I walked over there, I'll find it. Dude, what the hell am I then? I mean, this. That chick's house lived in another reality altogether. Well, I better go save my stupid friend I don't know yet. I know she said I'm safe now, but can I really trust that strange woman? I better stay away from that or anything. What the hell then am I- oh. Oh. I'm never gonna trust you, and I'm not gonna go now. Oh, I gotta- Where's he buried? Uh. Oh, is he buried in the garden? Hijacking cars is probably not the best. I'm seeing a cemetery maybe in the church, but oh, I can't do it with my bare hands. What kind of heathen do you think I am? Walking out here in my freaking wedding dress. Okay, you better not shoot me in the face with a gun you got next to you. Finally, time for my roar. Please don't let me wake up before I dig out this treasure. I hope it's Eddie Van Halen. Oh, Eddie Van Halen! Oh, God. Shut up. Not Eddie Van Halen. Oh, so you're supposed to be my treasure? No offense, but I'm slightly disappointed. You owe me some explanation, you dirty old guy. Whoa, whoa. Uh, just kind of changed perspectives there. Uh, hey, what's up? Girls in a wedding dress are always, always attract attention. Look. Whoever you are, I'm grateful for get getting me out of that stinking coffin. Well, I should think so. You have no idea what I've had to do to go through to save you. First that horrible man with the axe chasing after me. Then the weird woman inside the locker. But it wasn't really a locker, I guess. It's like a gate to some other dimension. I'm not making much sense, am I? Did you just say I... I remember it. Actually, that locker is the last thing I remember before when I woke up on, in my own grave. I mean, that's pretty bad as well. What kind of dream is that? Dream? How do you mean? Listen, we're in serious trouble. This place is evil, as if everything around it. There's this woman. She's she's kidnapped my wife. We've got to stop her. All right, all right. How do we do that? You got a plan or something? Should we just get in there and kill the bitch? <laughs> I shouldn't get you involved. I, I don't even know your name. You get hurt. You can die. This, this might be the scariest dream I've ever had. But so far, I made it. I'll be fine. This isn't a dream, you stupid bitch. I want to see how it ends. I didn't go through all this for nothing. My Trump business. Leave me alone. Dream. Yes, yeah, a dream. Look, it's a long story, but even though it all seems very real, it's just a bad dream. But I'm hurt. My head is killing me. You don't get headaches in your dreams. To me, you're just a dream person trying to convince me that it's not a dream. 
And you keep trying, but deep inside, I know you're just a creation of my sleeping mind. So you're me, in a way. I guess I could say the same about you. Maybe it's not me dreaming, and you're just an old memory of someone I used to know a long time ago. Yeah? Why don't you pitch my arm and watch me disappear? Look, it doesn't matter. Maybe we're just two different people who went to sleep in two different places and coincidentally met in the same dream. Well, I guess I can accept that. That makes as much sense to have half the shit happening in this game. Okay, I don't even know why I would want to say that to her. I know what to do. The only way I get my wife back is to kill four memories of this woman. Her name is Sophie, and she lives in this hotel. And she's fucking huge. Like, huge. Like, okay, I think I get... No, huge. I know it sounds crazy, but everything about this hotel is crazy, too. Four memories? How's that gonna help your wife? It's complicated. I'm not even sure if I understand it myself. I think she feeds on hotel guests. She's trying to make herself fat. A cannibal? I like to read about this sort of stuff. I'm kind of twisted like that. I don't think Sophie's a human. At least not a living one. She's more like a ghost. Killing four memories from four different stages of her life will wipe out her existence. You know, hopefully. Oh fuck, I missed that. I can still save Ivy. Now you really- now you're talking really crazy. Pull yourself together, man. I'll see why we can't talk to her first. That doesn't work. I hope you got some weapons on you. I get the feeling you might need them. Let's just say that. It's not like it's gonna hurt anything. I'm your own business. Leave me alone, will you? How dare you! I went around like some idiot pissing the room trying to save your ass, and now you're giving me attitude. The better thing is sign, because I'm not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Are you in, then? I might as well follow you. Alright, the name's Joe Davis. Nice to meet you, Joe. My name's Agnes. This is for you. Strange old lady to told me it was a gift for you. Oh, hot dog. I got me a shotgun already. Yes, disappointed. No, not at all. This is what I needed. Hello. I already have me a weapon. Let's get inside. This rain is ruining my hair. I don't really fed up with this weather. Before you go, I must warn you. I'm not in the mood for killing. You wanna kill your memories? Fine. But do it yourself. How about I kill you? Shotgun. I better keep the shotgun. To kill her later. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going back in there. Oh, I wish any Van Halen survived. Don't worry, baby. I'm with you in your dreams. And you know which dreams. Hurry up. I'm soaking wet already. Shut up. Stop complaining. Can you smell the dead? They're all around us. I don't know about that, but I can sure smell a cat. A cat? Yeah, it's a cat's piss. It's a strong scent. Can you smell? Can't you smell that? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Also smell a dead body of a cat. Now I do know what you're talking about. Oh, good, I got another gun. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm gonna kill you now. Oh no. Uh, shot. Oh, good. There they are. Lock and low, baby. But come on, come on, baby. Yes. No. Oh, yes, there. Hell yeah. Lock and low, mofo. Don't stop me now, everybody. So, you freaked out? Dear me. Why are they all dead? I don't know. Food poisoning? <laughs> oh, that makes sense. How does that make sense? I don't know. I mean, they're all bloody and, uh, that guy had a fish he was eating. It's probably too raw or something. Right. Alright. Uh, getting things is a bad idea. So, uh, what's... Look. Let's go, we got no time, Agnes. Now I'm asking you why you're wearing a wedding dress. Not at all, it's very simple. I lost my luggage, you see. I could be in New Zealand now, as far as I know. I need to change of clothes last night, and a woman in reception gave me this dress. But why a wedding dress? She didn't have anything else at the time. I think it's really old, you know. A dozen surprise went through it. Still, I kind of like it. Let's go, we got no time to lose, Agnes. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, what? That's different from what he told she told the rocker guy. She said she worked at uh she worked somewhere and she would wear the wedding dress. Now her story changed. Is there a reason for that? Is that a plot hole or Alright, Sophie, uh, let's get this over with. Go ahead. Shoot me. 
All right, bitch. Don't. This is not the dish she deserves. We want to see her guts come out of this big, fat, ugly tummy in a fountain of blood. Soar on half, and maybe then we'll find a piece of last. Ugh, fine. It's heavier way. Good lord. Really? I mean, come on, I got a shotgun. It's pretty cool, right? No. Okay, well... I ditched my saw, though. My, my I used it when I cut off the head of that pig. Aw, oh, balls. I didn't need it. Alright, this might sting a little bit. Just saying. I kill her so easily now. She wants right between the eyes. I've only got one bullet. I should save it. I might need it later. Besides, she she wants and she deserves a death more, much more painful than this. If that's her last wish. I might as well honor it. God dang it. So... Pfft. She's got a gaping hole in her stomach. I'm pretty sure she's got a lot of pain. And she asked for her not to... What about this? Nope, not even... Not even my revolver. What am I su... What am I supposed to do? Here's some rat poison. Oh, the rain. I'll get a move. I'll get a move. So you'll be your fuck, Joe Davis. Stop moaning. It's just a bit of rain. That also happens. I made a shit. Shut up. Let's go flip some switches. Not get eaten by the zombies this time. Okay. Something wrong. Okay. And can you see that lever on the wall? Of course I can see it. I'm not blind. Yeah, well, could you pull the lever when I give you a shout? Sure. Oh shit. Just do it, all right? I missed it. Fuck. Fine, man. God, God. Just, just, just let me know when, when you want me to follow you again, all right? This pain's right from my skin. Stay. We're staying on the roof now, Agnes. Not getting wet. Oh, just shut up and get off the roof. The game automatically uh, scroll like goes through the dialogue, so signs that I'm like, I'm, I click to just proceed, and it'll also scroll at the same time, so it's just fucking pissing me off. Alright, let's go ahead and, oh yeah, this thing. Hey, Agnes! Pull the lever now! Pull the lever! What? I can't hear you! Pull the lever! I want me to kill the cow! No cows here, sorry! I didn't say cow, I said pull the lever, you dirty whore! Just pull the fucking thing! Oh, that! Alright! Come on, Joe, stop fooling around. Got the gate open. Oh, okay. Did I actually do anything? Come with me. Uh. Oh, there's a gate. I was like, the ultimate, con the ultimate contentment. This guy on the poster doesn't look so happy. Is that a dude? The only contentment for him, it's definitely not. I need to carry posters in my pocket. It's dead. No surprises here. Public telephone. That doesn't work. Yeah, there's nothing of use there. It looks like it's been abandoned in a rush. Oh. Paper. I can't seem to examine it. How the hell did it fly up in the air like that? Just passing by? Carry post from. What's that green thing on them? It's best only there to cover the private bits. Nah. Oh dear, is that a penis? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen one of those in ages. Hello, mannequin head. That does not look like a mannequin head. I got a leg. It's part of a ma of the mannequin. Okay, so I got a leg and a head. I need a few other pieces, though. To all actors currently staying on the third floor, please do not leave your hair straighteners on in your rooms. The heat they produce can setting the fire alarm, keeps setting the fire alarm off. This has caused quite a stir on numerous occasions. Okay. Let's go check out the studio. Locked. Balls. Oh, what? Is there stairs? Come on, there's gotta be something else in here, right? With nothing more, nothing less. It's more door to a vault than a movie set. 
And this is where they made the film about a man who went down to the church's catacombs to fight skeletons with a broom. Sounds pretty simple, but it was one hell of a movie. <laughs> it was the best movie ever. I combine these somehow. Leg attached to head. Just like real life. Oh! Oh, that's the mannequin. Here we go, there's the mannequin. I can't use the mannequin leg with the mannequin. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this is oh, this is the mannequin. Oh, this mannequin then. Leave that thing alone. It's not a bloody toy to play with. Here. What? God, what are you kidding me? God. What the hell, man? I got your freaking mannequin pieces. You are such a picky penguin. It's not locked. I think there's something wrong with it. What? It wouldn't open from the inside either. Not that there's anything important here. Actually, do you think that would end my dream if I returned to where it started? No idea. Maybe. We'll never know unless we open it somehow, but chances are slim. Don't worry about it too much. I didn't... I'm not really that fussed. That was just a thought. Okay, so that's where her room was. There wasn't really anything in there, though. I mean... We got everything. Oh, what the... Hello again. Hello again, Mr. Davis. I never thought you'd get so far. Where the fuck is she... I've been looking all over for you, you dirty whore. So we meet again, but this time you'll give me some answers. I've already told you everything you need to know. You're still blaming me for what happened. You should have warned us. You should have told us to leave. Mr. Davis, I'm running, I'm running a business here. I can't just tell guests to leave, can I? That would be so utterly rude. I should kill you right here and now for all you've done to us. Then do it, Mr. Davis. No, that won't change anything. Might as well let you live. Ha! I never expected to hear that from the mouth of such a ruthless killer. But though you split, spilled some blood today, you're such a naughty little boy. Very, very naughty. And there will be even more blood. How do you know? This isn't real. All I killed is ghosts. Oh, if you say so. But it doesn't feel like we're all ghosts anyway. Like we've always been, on, been only dead souls that seek redemption, lost and frightened. Lonely and confused. I used to be very lonely a long time ago, but nobody came. I waited and waited, and the whole world as I remember remembered it went missing. The loneliness confusion make everything go black and white and gray. And red, too. I could see some red, red blood pumping into my veins every time I looked in my arm. I could see the ghosts hidden in the walls. They spoke to me. They said, We're waiting for you. In our cold arms, we will be happy again. Yeah, and then, and then, <laughs> and what happened? I climbed on a stool, put a rope around my neck, and jumped. It was beautiful. Okay, no need to say it happened in, in this very room. Oh. Yes, it's always been my favorite. Oh, that's her. Freaky. <laughs> Joe's like, eee! Okay, uh... I really need to know about the backup generator. The doctor said you will know. The doctor? He's been playing you all along. He needs you to do some chores for him and run here and there. What he really needs you for is a fresh brain for his final projects. He never told you that, did he? Ha! Clever old rat! Did you think you actually believed him? What? This can't be. Oh yes, dear Mr. Davis. The doctor is not a good man. He's a cheating old bastard who wants to use you and then kill you. Tell me about Sophie. Oh, poor soul. So angry and so sad. You know a lot about her already. Perhaps she deserves what you're doing to her. She killed my wife. But you are going to save her. Isn't that so, Mr. Davis? How do I know you're not lying to me as well? Well, you can't. But I can tell you one thing. There is no backup generator in this hotel. There's never been one. If you go and tell him about it now, he'll say there is another way to produce extra power for this machine. This other way will be used to s you be to use a storm to his advantage. He'll ask you to go to the roof and stick an iron ball that bar the machine he placed there a long time ago. Because he always knew. But he says something else. He won't. 
But if he does, you can find me. And introduce me what you did to poor old Sophie if you wish. How do I get to the roof? I suppose I could show you. I don't know why, but I like you. Let's play a little game. You'll have to follow me. I'll leave some clues for you. Clues? Yes, who knows? Maybe you'll get more than you you'd bargain for. I've been alone for a very, very long time, Mr. Davis. I'm gonna do you a favor. You're not going to be ungrateful, are you? Show me the way to the roof. Oh, you're so boring and cold. I'm not surprised your wife wanted to leave you. That's not your business, besides. Never mind. Think about it. And tell me when you're ready. Shit's getting crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for now, guys. It's interesting. It's a really cool, cool game. I'm really liking it so far. Anyway, like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now to Hot Boy the CLP. Where the days are always sunny, the vids are always funny, and the Joes are always Davis-y. <laughs> Until next time, guys, stay classy.